All right. So this is my uh, Gary's Mod tutorial. This is tutorial five. If you haven't seen any of my other ones, I recommend you go see the previous ones all the way down to one, uh, up to four. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just go where we left off. I just got off a of muscle and hydraulic. And let's go to something a little bit different. These are all constraints I've shown you, shown you so far. Um, these really are, if you're messing with a couple of props or whatever, and you want to do something with both of them. That's what the constraints do. Now, these down here are construction. These will do a variety of different things. A lot of times they add something to it. Sometimes they uh, just change things. Um, let's just go ahead and go over a really simple one, the balloon one. This is honestly a nostalgia for me. Every time I pull up the, the balloon, I always get happy. Because this is the first thing I ever did in Gary's Mod. Uh, the balloons, when you select it, obviously you've got all the different settings, but you'll see that it has like a like a, a silhouette or a ghost version of what the balloon looks like. So if you change that, you can see the balloon looks a bit different. Anyway, um, so you can kind of see where you're clicking. But you have all these different types of models. You can make it look like anything. Whoops. Uh, ignore that. I kind of... <coughs> we're screwing with something. <laughs> anyway. Uh... So it's got a couple of settings here. You got the rope length, the force, the color, and then the model. What the f rope length does is if you click it, you see how that's really short, the rope? Well, you could probably guess that that's what 5 is. Now, if I set the 169, that's what 169 is. But if you look, do you see how that just kind of moved there? It's pulling it up. These balloons act as a force. That's what force means. So these have been all set to 61. If I set the force up to something really high, like nearly, you know, 2,000, whoop, that prop goes along with it, and so is with all the balloons. But that's what that does. And what's really cool, and I'm sorry if this is really ear rapey, I might go and post and change this, but, um, whoops, <laughs> set the thing down a little bit. You can do that. <laughs> you can shoot them. They're just like regular balloons. That's kind of fun. I actually used to use these for target practice a lot. And uh, if you notice, there's a thing that keeps saying I'm anti-spam or whatever. It's just an add-on I have, so don't worry about that. You probably won't even encounter that until you get onto a server. But yeah. It's kind of fun. Little interactive things. Uh, some things you'll see some people do with them is they'll get in a chair and uh, freeze it so it won't move. Then get some balloons that are set to really high. I'll then make them go up. And then I click and get in at the same time. Oh, no! No! I suck. All right, let's try that again. I am just not fast. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, you click, and then, you know what, do I have seat weapons on? Yes, I do. Hey, this is what happens. <laughs> you can fly. Which actually brings me to another point that I didn't show yet. Uh, I'm coming to the ground. Splat. Anyway. Um, if you're in a sandbox game like we are, you can do a thing called no clip. And what no clip means is uh, you're going to not clip into the world while you're also going to fly. And the way you do that, you press V on your keyboard. That button. That button there. Oh. Whoa. So if I hit spacebar, you'll start flying up. You hit W, you'll fly forward. SD, you know, just all the same controls or whatever. Hit Shift, and you'll fly faster. So I'm flying normal, fast, normal, fast. But as I said, you'll not clip into things. You'll fly through things. Wow! I can fly into the map, out of the map, through stuff. So if you had a bunch of props, I'm just spamming things. You can fly through them, or whatever. Uh, and then if you hit uh, Alt, you actually go really slow. Or it's not Alt; it's Control. Stupid. Uh, yeah, I've hit control, you'll go even slower. So it's good for you being able to get precise angles and whatnot. 
So that's what no clip is. Um, if you ever do hit that and it says something like in the chat, it says uh, you are not allowed to use that command, something like that. Um, it's because you're trying to use the UL ULX no clip and um, you've either bound it or someone else on your game has bound it to a different type of noclip. Um, to get around that, you can just press the tilde key. So the tilde key is that key right there. It's the key above tab and next to one. And it'll pull up this menu. And if you type no clip, all one word, you'll go into that noclip. So that's how that works. Anyway, um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? We just did balloons. Let's do... Dynamite, I guess. Uh, dynamite is... It doesn't really have to do with props or anything. It's its own um, tool. Um, the explode is just what button starts it. Um, actually, I'll just show it. You place it down. You hit the button. It blows up. It's pretty freaking simple. Uh, a lot of servers, if you're playing online, will have this removed. Because it, if you can't tell, it's an explosive. And can kill you if you're not in build up mode like I am right now. Um, and people can start spamming that all over the world and obviously that can get really loud and really annoying. So that's that and you can change the damage to higher the delay. So if it, you can have like a little bit of a timer and you can have it remove as soon as you click it. So it's gone. Uh, that's that one. Mm, what else? Oh, the duplicator. Okay, we were kind of going over this earlier. Um, it just duplicates things. Uh, a lot of servers will have this restricted because the way it does it... Let's see, let's just get a few props. And weld them together. Okay, so they're all welded together, so you really have a big thing. And then if you use the duplicator, It'll copy the whole thing because they're all welded together. See that? Copied all of them. Um, and when you paste it in, you can see that that can become a lot of props really fast. Uh, and this duplicator doesn't discriminate. It will do it as fast as you click. So um, servers will generally, um, good servers, I should say, will generally have this restricted or you can't even use it. And you won't even see this tab. Um, what you'll do is you'll use advanced duplicator. Now, um, there's two different ones. If I move my thing over here, there's advanced duplicator and advanced duplicator two. Um, they both are great. Um, this one's a little bit older, a little bit buggier, and not as easy to use. Um, and this is the one that most people use. Uh, I might as well just show you how it works. If you have a contraption or whatever, you right click it so it'll copy. And you can also copy an area by holding shift and then right click, and it brings up this box. And anything in that box while you right click, it'll copy. Uh, and once you copy it, instead of going to your dupes and hitting save, you just keep, just don't even worry about this. Just go over to the uh, duplicator tool tool and then right click this folder and then click save. And it'll ask you for the name. And then you put in some name and description or whatever. Oops, I'm going to cancel because I don't actually want to save that. And what will happen is it'll be in that folder. So these are all some of my dupes of what I've got right now. Um, and then I've got a separate subfolder full of old um, versions and stuff. Um, and the way you can bring them back up is say, uh, I don't know, something simple. Um, you find what you need, right click it and click open. You can do preview as well, rename the file, move the file, delete the file, um, and then open and close this folder. Um, so I'm just gonna click open. And this is a giant dome that I made. Um, and you can see right there, it was saying loading or whatever. Wait for that to get done and then click. If you click too soon, it can kind of, it'll yell at you saying it's still loading. And that's how I created this, or you know, that's how I bring in this old save that I have of this giant flipping dome. That's not even welded together. Whoop. <laughs> so it's just a bunch of fucking parts. All right, so. Um, and we're actually getting a little bit out of time here. I'm just going to 
end it there and then pick it back up in the next one. So, I will see you guys in a minute.